it's clear they've been here a while. There's some scotch on the table, but they haven't been drinking it. They've just been here for a moment. I guess this makes Cyrus officially part of the club. Murderer's Row. We should have thrown him a welcome party. Yeah. Well, here's to losing. No. We lost fit. Cyrus doesn't get to just walk away from this. If David were still alive, he would have made certain that Cyrus doesn't get to just walk away from this. But Cyrus, he's got the deputy AG in his pocket, which means Melly is going to be impeached, which means we're all going to jail, which means Cyrus doesn't get to just walk away from this. You're right, he also gets the oval. Well, we need to make sure that- Why? Why did I ever believe that I could fix any of this or anything at all? My father was right. You think I am the one who's always right? But no, no, I, I have been tricked, had. Olivia, you're grieving. And? And you're not thinking clearly. My thoughts have never been more clear. I didn't fix anything here, Fitz. I just made it worse. By doing what was right? Will you stop Liv, saying come that? Come on, you have to know that. Tell me you know that you what you did was right. You did the right thing. Stop it, I am so sick of... Who the hell knows what's right? I managed to take down every single person I care about. Is that supposed to be what's right? That's not what... I dragged everyone down with me. Was that really the right thing to everyone do? Everyone did what they did on their own. I destroyed a legacy you spent a lifetime forging. I did that, Liv, not you. I did that with... You didn't have a choice. I went over that cliff with you. And you made a mistake. How can you say that? Because I was the problem. You followed me. You relied on me. You trusted me. When this entire time, I was the problem, Fitz. It was me. It's how it's always been. It's been me. I realize that now. You're not. Stop. Before you say anything else, before you try to argue with me any more than you already have, I'd like you to stop and realize something. I'm going to jail tomorrow. This is most likely the very last time you and I will ever be in the same room together alone. So. We have a choice here. We can keep talking, we can keep having feelings, or we can do something else. <laughs> feelings, option A, something else, option B. Which is it going to be? Live. Make a choice, option A, option B. A or B, A or B, A or B, A or, pick one! A long beat, intense. And just as we begin to lean forward into our television screens or whatever. <laughs> Take off your clothes. Option B! Option B it is! As a slow strike them off, and it's hot, and it's sexy, and it's everything we'd ever wish to see in the very last lift fits. Good, good, see, we're gonna see! That's right, ever! And as we're acting... Is Olivia wearing the same outfit we saw her leaving the White House in the beginning of our montage and as she heads down the street in all of her fabulousness, trademark Olivia Pope, power strut and all, she catches something out of the corner of her eye. The town car. Pulling over just up ahead, she eyes it, sees the window rolling down, only to reveal it's... Um, Jeff, Cyrus did not start out necessarily as the big bad of the series. Um, when do you think that emerged? When did you, when did you realize, like, wow, he's, he's the villain? You know, for a minute, I had to say to Tony or Terry in, in, in the pilot, I think I'm kind of Sam Morrison. I think I might be the moral ground. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think the defining scandal of Scandal is? Oh, uh, <laughs> I think the defining scandal of Scandal is more of the overarching idea that the closer you get to power, power corrupts. Mm -hmm. The real fight of the show is the internal battle each character has to try to hold on to the best of themselves as they move closer into Whoa. power. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, 
Tony, what was it like on set? Um, take us to the scene on set when you're um, shooting that last scene with Carrie. And what, what's the environment like? What's going on there? It, it was. It was kind of. It was, Our last scene together, or the last scene together? Your last scene together. Um, together. It was the scene when the love scene. So we were doing this, and we were like. The, she says to me, this may be the very last time I ever see you. start crying right now. Um, and we were like, holy shit. This that's is the last time we're actually going to be in a scene together. We're going to be in a scene together. So Aww. it was very poignant and fun. Yeah. <laughs> it was fine. That's the last time. the United States. <laughs> Can you 